Alright guys, how's it going? So after my review of the Bygen plugin, I started playing around a little bit more with the plugin and I kinda came up with this organic shape. Now this shouldn't take any longer than 3 minutes to make, so first of all I'm going to import my wavefront object and this is just a skull. Let me just show you, I'll hide the cube. Luckily the scale works out here for me, so what I can do here with the cube is I can move it on the x-axis 1 metre. Now I'm going to make a duplicate of the skull, so I'll just copy, paste. This means I have two versions, so when I boolean subtraction I essentially have two halves. So I'll select the first half, go to modifier and I'll do a boolean. I'll select the object that I want to use as a slicer, which is a cube, and I'll hit apply. And I'll just do the exact opposite, but this time what I'll do is I'll move the cube minus one metre. And I'll do the exact same again, add modifier, boolean, object, make sure it's on difference, then I'll hit apply. Now I don't need the cube anymore, so I can quickly delete that from the scene. So you can see here we actually have two parts. Something like this. So hopefully you have the plugin installed. I recommend you check out the developer's videos, they're pretty insightful. So I'm going to select the part that I want to work on. I'll bring up the properties tab and you can see here, BY tools. Let me just move this along. I'm going to change the modify mode to organic shell. I'll leave the displacement type as is and I'll pretty much leave everything default. Then I'll hit apply. Now keep in mind, the more complex the mesh is, the more subdivision you have. It can take a couple of settings, especially if you're working on a low-end computer. Now my machine's pretty beastly and it still takes maybe 15 settings. Now you can see here we're getting this janky result. And one of the reasons for this is, if we come down to the modifier tabs, you can see here on the wireframe, even thickness. So if I uncheck this, check out what it does. It gets rid of that kind of horrible topology. Now you may notice one thing, the displacement texture is actually throwing the mesh out, so it's not 100% symmetrical. So I can actually come up to displacement. Now let's just disable on the viewport, it means we don't need to mess around with any settings. Let's see what the results are. So we're getting something like this. Pretty damn cool and pretty damn organic. Now you may notice that the mesh isn't perfectly aligned, and to be honest, I actually quite like that effect. But you might want to actually get it perfect. So how can we resolve this? Well one of the factors might be, if you come down to smoothing, the repeat's pretty high, so let's reduce it down to 5 and let's see what it does. It's starting to bring the mesh back in, but you're starting to lose that smoothness. So this is more an artistic design choice. What do you need? So let's say we reduce it down to 0 0.1 in a factor. What happens then? There we go, it starts to bring it back in, and maybe I can put the repeat back up a little bit. Nice. And that's pretty much how you utilise Bygen. Now you could maybe take this one step further, and use IvyGen maybe over here, and that might break up the image ever so slightly. But it's that time again, do me a favour guys, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. And make sure you download the plugin, that helps. You know what to do. Peace.